So my name is Calvin Leung. Um, I'm the head of marketing and creative for Yeezy Gap. You know, basically everything I do is about helping bring the creative vision of the brand to life. Um, everything from marketing to experiences, uh, activations and branding. Um, it's a pretty, uh, I'd say, open, you know, kind of function, but it's really exciting, small, mighty team, um, all very talented and, but it's very untraditional, I'd say, in what we do. When I was in high school, I was a jock. So I grew up playing basketball my whole life, um, but I was also an artist. I was really into drawing and sketching and um, illustrating. And I think somewhere, you know, in that juxtaposition of those two interests, um, you know, I, I found a curiosity in fashion especially basketball in the 90s was very much uh, influential, I think, to, to overall fashion and culture. And at the same time, you know, my interest in illustration sort of piqued this curiosity into design. I didn't know it at the time, but somehow I think those two worlds really set the stage for, you know, what was next for me. I think the first time, you know, I, so as I mentioned earlier, I grew up really being into art and illustrating. And when that sort of translated into me just sort of designing things, like having these ideas and sketching them out, uh, I think that was the first time I realized I had, you know, I had a, a passion for design and, and fashion. And I started, you know, the first things I used to really draw were sneakers. And um, I think my first dream job I probably decided I wanted was to be a sneaker designer so you know I think just that sort of curiosity into being able to create things and ideas with my own hands um, really piqued my interest in 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 fashion you know the one I'd actually consider my first job was uh an internship with the Brooklyn Circus, which is a brand in here in New York. You know, it was a small brand founded by Ouija Theodore. And, you know, I was a big fan of the brand. I, I really, I really pursued a, a brand that I felt like, you know, super inspired by no one else was, uh, they were still sort of under, you know, an emerging brand and, and they were doing something that I just thought no one else was doing and I wanted to be a part of it. So um, my first job was as an intern, but actually how I stumbled into that internship was via Craigslist. So I was graduating school at the time and I was looking for a job and they, the Brooklyn Circus was actually looking uh, to start hosting some sort of like fashion related events. And they were looking for a door guy. Um, with sort of like a specific look and I stumbled upon it on Craigslist. And, you know, even though my aspirations were to be more involved with the brand in a bigger capacity and really learn and officially work there, I was like, well, if the only way in is to be a door guy, then that's what I'll do. So, you know, I really took the opportunity to, to prove to them that I was, I could be of more value and um, that I would do anything it took to kind of work for them and, you know, they thought I was crazy, but they, they gave me a shot and then I went in there and, and learned everything I could from them. But I also tried to really provide like what I thought I could help, um, you know, bring value to the brand. And to this day, I think it's been one of the most uh, defining jobs I've ever had. Uh, you can't tell from the screen, but I'm covered in tattoos. And I started doing that very early it, uh, when I was 15, actually, I got my first tattoo. And, you know, not only being a minority, but then sort of, you know, doing something that back then was considered sort of frowned upon, or as they would call like job killers or whatever. Um, 
I certainly didn't help <laughs> probably uh, my own cause uh, for, you know, at least what, what I thought was an industry sort of perception. But actually, you know, what it did was it really strengthened my confidence. I think it, it really made me, you know, be unapologetically me and own who I was and wanted to be and never let sort of all that noise um, be a reason for me to compromise. I think to this day, I've treated being a minority, being sort of that guy um, as a superpower, you know, looking at it less of something that, you know, makes me the, the smallest voice in the room, but rather the most unique. Being different, being a minority, I think is actually what makes you special. Um, the world could use more diversity of thought, more differentiation in the room. My name is Calvin Leung, and I'm the head of marketing and creative for Yeezy Gap. And my one pro tip is follow your gut. As long as you're listening to your heart, I think that you'll make the right decisions. You know, your mind can easily can tell you something's right or wrong, but I think your heart sort of always tells you what you already know. And I think if you, you listen to that, um, it, it will bring you where you're meant to be.